<coughs> Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your February the 1st, 1993 Raw Watch Along. Right guys, I'm literally just getting a PlayStation controller up to uh, get started on this. Um, I've got a good few matches that seem to be maybe okay. Uh, so we've got Tatanka versus Damien Demento. Yeah. Bret Hart presents the check. Brutus Barber Beefcake returns to WWE. I never got like that guy at all. <laughs> Donk versus Typhoon. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff that's coming up, so we can just give it a watch and hopefully it's okay. <laughs> uh, so we're starting off with obviously Tatanka. I'll tell you the time that we're at just now. We're at 33 seconds, 34, 35, 36. Right. Tanker's running out, as he always did. Demento's in the ring, just looking demented. Uh, before we go any further, guys, while you're watching this, just scroll a little bit down, right? Um, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification button, because there's literally, it's almost six days a week there's wrestling shows, um, and coming at any of the Christmas, so I'm probably going to up that to maybe seven or even eight. So, it'll be pretty cool. Right, we're in the show. Also, I've been awake all night because it's bonfire night, Guy Fox night, whatever you, you call it in the in Scotland, and it's literally just fireworks going off everywhere. Um, and the worst thing about fireworks being going off everywhere is they still go off to about four o'clock in the morning because in Scotland we still got coronavirus kind of lockdowns and stuff like that. We don't really get the chance. We'll not really be able to get out and stuff like that. So we have to just fucking when it's that bonfire night, everybody's out, social distance, just firing fireworks. Unlike when I was younger, when we would fire fireworks at each other. So <laughs> let's see how how things pan out over the night. So it's Demento against the Tanker. Tanker was always a man that I was interested in when I was younger. Always a wrestler that I quite liked. Now looking back, I think he, he's not the best worker, but. Back in the day, it was something that I did like. This hat is kind of like a soft feeling hat. And uh, my, my son bought me it, so he's, he wants me to wear it all the time. Because I normally have a different kind of hat, but he likes this one. So, that's why you'll probably see me wear this and a couple of others that are different colours over the next couple of months. Also guys, the Christmas tree will be going up soon couple of weeks, Christmas tree, new background. Tanker's on the mat here. Demento just having a couple of kicks in. Demento pick the tanker up. Off the ropes. Big elbow to tanker. So I'm uh, literally just getting stuff sorted for work at the moment. I'm getting this watched. I've actually, because I've got, I'm working this weekend. Um, so we've got Smackdown in full gear this weekend. So I've not got too much of a busy day today. I think I'm only doing it. It's eight hours of work today. Nine hours. So it's not too bad. Mission hole by Demento on Tatanka. I always put this Demento guy kind of over and then just let have him lose. Never really was somebody that I enjoyed watching. The only time I remember Demento was the one with Undertaker match. Um, and that's it. And I watched that years, I think I watched that in like 2005 when I went and bought a DVD with it on it. Sending a quick email, guys. Right. 
how mad's what's happening in America just now as well, with obviously the election stuff. Tanka looks like he's making a comeback. Right, guys, I had a little bit of a technical issue there. My PlayStation just fucking messed the WWE network app up. So we're at um, 219, 220, 221, 223, 224. <laughs> By the time this comes up, guys, you'll probably actually... So I'm recording this Friday. Um, so normally these... Raw reviews, I get recorded on Friday because first things in the morning, um, I'm normally up at four. I get, I go to the gym, um, well just now I'm working out in the house and going for runs. I get that sorted and then I go to work. I come back about half eight to take the kids to school and nursery. Come back, I've got like a, an hour and a half, two hour block. That's where I get some recording done. Um, and that's when I'm doing this just now. So this is Friday. Full gear's coming up on Sunday. And you would have... Well, Saturday night. You would have had the review Sunday morning. And then this will be up. So... Hope full gear was good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um, I'm looking forward to the... Page and Omega match the most, probably. Looking forward to see what happens with Chris Jericho and MGF too, obviously. But Page Omega is definitely one that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, the reason I've got a Harlem, by the way, guys, is it's when you get up at four o'clock in the morning and you go outside, it's literally like the coldest the cold you can get in Scotland. <laughs> Unless it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I really don't get how this American electoral system works. It's a, uh, it's weird, but um, yeah. Whatever keeps them happy. It's funny because like mostly us are the are the in that country, so it's funny to, for us to watch them burn like them just fucking mess this all up. But Yeah, we're just at the comeback of the tanker now. Thank fuck for that. Eh? I'm guessing this is going to be finished soon. There we go. One, two, three. The tank is a winner, as expected, because Demento was a jobber. <laughs> Watch your man just out of a shirt and a delightful hat and glasses, man. That's what you what you live for, isn't it? That's life. Bret Hart comes out with a check. Skip over this one. Check to the Red Cross. Then we get Brutus returning to. to WWE. We'll move over that because it's not really going to be anything interesting. To High Energy versus Von Cross and Iron Mike Sharp. This is 1636, 
when I was younger, obviously, like, I was like six ish, six ish, seven ish, when the Bret Hart, Bret Hart own heart, died. So it was, it was like, I remember it, but I don't. Um, but it was later in life that I remember it a little bit better, obviously. But remember looking back and seeing it and stuff like that. I don't know how much that influences like your old memories, if that makes sense. Also today, guys, I'm going to be recording. That'll be, well, that'll be coming up for Friday for you guys. Um, it would be my top ten steel cage matches, which is going to be fun. I love steel cage matches, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be fun. That'll be that'll be up obviously before you've seen this one. Can't believe how close we are to Christmas, especially being 2020 must be. So we've obviously got whatever's happening in America just now, but it, it, I feel like it's going to be coming up with something <laughs> more weird sooner than later. Sorry guys, I'm fucking... I actually had a half day on Wednesday um, and I slept for about 12 hours straight. It's the first time I've been able to sleep longer than about 4 or 5 hours in almost a year, which is coming out of December's when I get a little bit more time off to spend with the family. So uh, we'll probably get a, lo a lot more recordings done and um, it will honestly give me a little bit more time to enjoy rest and stuff like that, like being able to... Just chill. Oh, high energy picked up the win. That's quick. Somebody who looked exactly like Mick Foley was in the front of the <laughs> audience, yeah. Oh, we've got Doink against the... Uh, Typhoon. Next. By the looks of it, it's probably going for like a five minute match. We're at 1934, 35, 36. Just showing his doink attacking um, crush. He's taking off like he's cast to hit him with. Really, the characters at this time in wrestling were so weird, weren't they? Dykes coming in first. Putting the water out his little flubber thing. I fucking don't like this character at all. All those years just wrestling just to come a fucking doink. <laughs> and Typhoon just. I'm glad they got rid of like the silly names like this, like the typhoon and stuff like that. I'm just really glad they got rid of that.
It's weird that it, like some some characters work like the Undertaker, but then like other characters like Doink was just fucking like ugh. <laughs> or like Bret Hart he was a character and he worked or Ravish and Rick Rude they work in all do you know what I mean like it it's so weird like some things. Some characters work and some didn't he? Dunk's got the armor titan here. So shit with what I do for work just now is because of this election. I've been up quite early to keep tracks on it and stuff like that. And it's it's so honestly, it's at the point where I'm just like getting really tired. I thought it would have been called by now and I would have been able to take a long weekend. Um, because I got, last week I got most of my work done knowing this was coming up. So that then I would have maybe have took a long weekend and just had these to record. But it looks like I'm going to be working a good 10, 12 hours each day this weekend. But needs muster when you've got bills and shit. <laughs> What's your guys' thoughts on the AEW anyway? Let me know in the comments below because um, I don't know. I'm re like recently, it's just been really like it just it doesn't seem like it's been fantastic. Like if that makes sense, like, it, it really just seems kind of like they're just doing like a tried and true method. Like they're just trying to copy what's happened before in wrestling like I know they're doing other things like that musical number and stuff but I fucking hate musicals so it doesn't really bother me um, at least they're trying something different but I don't know I'd still say NXT and AEW are two of the best things going in wrestling at the moment Doink picked up the win after holding the tights and I wouldn't hold the middle, like the sweaty bit, like the middle of the legs where he held of Typhoon. It's probably where coronavirus came from. <laughs> like I was telling you last week, I'm training for this. Uh, 556 mile kind of journey thing and um, really just struggling just now with the training it's I'm getting up early in the morning like I said 3 4 o'clock in the morning getting in about 50 miles uh, recently I've had to stop that because I've been having really bad cramps in my foot so I've been getting up and doing about 50 60 minutes of either skipping or static holds, things like that, and it's fucking just getting tired. Part of the reason I'm getting my fitness levels up just now. Is so that when it gets to June when I'm going to do it, my fitness level's already there. But two months beforehand, guys, it's going to be a, a really hard training schedule. And also, um, if a 100% does go through, given coronavirus at the moment, we might not be able to do that. So we'll see how it works. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my partner to take over the, the live recordings. Um, she'll do that and you'll still get me doing these and uh, my top tens and stuff like that. But she'll be doing like the review of the live recordings for like the four or five days of my way. Rising for in tribute of. Andre the Giant. Da, 
and bell salutes, a uh, bit of silence. And we're back. Oh, we saw in that thing. <laughs> oh, Hasbro action figures. Then we've got Yokozuna versus Bobby DeVento. DeVito. So we're at 28, 51, 52, 53. I'll tell you exactly when we go to 29, guys. Twenty nine minutes in, twenty nine oh two, twenty nine oh three, twenty nine oh four. Devito, Bobby Devito, who's gonna probably get Leonard because he just looks like a jobber. Yoko's just so big, man. Every time I see him, it's just like, fuck. Big kick for Yoko to DeVito, DeVetto, whatever the fuck, what's the guy's name again? Big slam. Bobby. He's just laying there. Yoko's going for the big leg to the back of the head. Shot from Yoko, obviously. <laughs> Yoko's got to run into the route. Right on top of Bobby. <laughs> And a wee push. Yeah, he's probably going to be up next finisher. Over. Yoko picked up the win. Like, who didn't think Yoko was going to win that one, guys? <laughs> um, Money Inc. answers Brutus Barber Beefcake Challenge. The Narcissist Posen will jump to the Narcissist Posen. 37 48, 
I say good things to you about watching like the old draws, you kind of know what's going to happen so you're able to just kind of gloss over some stuff which you can just like skip by some weird things which I, I, I do like as well. When you're watching the new draws and it gets to the bits when you're like, oh I wish I could just fucking skip over this. But eh, uh, let me sit through it. <laughs> that wee shitty mirror that they've got in the ring, the wee terrible looking mirror they have in the ring as well, which I always found was hilarious. They really try and make this Lex thing work, don't they? Like, and same in WCW and everything, they try to make Lex work so much and just, he never really worked. Is it, there's like a fat lady coming in the ring to do like the ring card stuff. And I'm like, no, it's a, a lady. I thought it was a man. No, it's a lady. Aye. Mr. Perfect get here we for the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> it's Mr. Perfect throwing the ball and it's like he's just doing everything perfectly. <laughs> Right, we'll jump to the Narcissus versus Jason Knight, which is 4155, 4156, 4157, 4158, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. We're just heading up to 42 minutes exactly. This draw has not really been the best one, is it not, guys? Uh, for me personally, I've just not really thought it was the the best draw, like the most entertaining one I've had. Past couple were great. The last one with that great flair and perfect match was awesome. This has just been jobbers and main stars. Lex just, it's always a weird one, isn't it? He's got the, the body look, he's got the, he's pretty cool in the ring. He just doesn't have the it factor, if that makes sense. Like, he really doesn't, he has something missing, and I don't know what it is. And that really is something that I think is, which made him struggle most of his career.
pinky on the chest, got the three count. Just kill the jobber's career. Lex randomly trying to pick this guy up, who just doesn't sell it at all. And he's like just spinning around and throwing him, which looked terrible. That just looked utter terrible though. I always forgot, Rob, well, like they've just said, they're gonna, they won't be here next week because of the dog show. So, like, it'll be two weeks' time. So, instead of from it being the first, it was the 15th. But obviously, we'll get you here next week for the 15th. Steiner Brothers is on there. Yokozuna again. There's a 16 man battle royal. Uh, the Million Dollar Man versus Brutus the Barber Beefcake. So, uh, yeah, we've got that. Coming next week. This Raw, honestly, didn't think was the best. There has been better. And really, it's hard to kind of say here because we think this one could have been cool, but it just wasn't. It just doesn't have anything going for it. It was a lot of just main stars against jobbers, and that's that's okay sometimes, but uh, this hope next week's better. And uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell, guys. I'll see you here. Well, I've probably already have watched me Friday with my top 10 cage matches. Uh, the Smackdown on Saturday. Sunday, my full gear review. And then this is coming out. So, I'll see you here Tuesday after we see this one. See you later, guys.